morning and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brooke Lennington. And I'm Jace Mills. A top Kansas Democrat is getting out of the race for governor. House Minority Leader Jim Ward says he is suspending his campaign. And instead, Ward says he's running again for his seat in the Kansas House. Ward has rep represented Wichita in the House for 16 years. And he said while it was a tough decision to drop out of the governor's race, he says he can make a major impact in the House. We have to address the needs of health care affordability and accessibility. We need to build partnerships with business and academics to move a state forward and make sure we're giving our kids the best opportunity. Ward has not said who he would endorse out of the Democrats left in the race. Those still running include former Wichita Mayor Carl Brewer, former State Representative Josh Swatty, and State Senator Laura Kelly. And joining us now to tell us about the impact of Ward's exit from the race is KSNT News political analyst Dr. Bob Beatty. Bob, let's start with why did Jim Ward get out of the race? Well, I think there's a, a couple of reasons. One is when Jim Ward did enter this race, uh, State Senator Laura Kelly wasn't in the race, so it was a pretty wide open field. Uh, Laura Kelly has entered the race and she has the backing of former Kansas Governor Kathleen Sebelius and that's pretty important for uh, Kansas de Democrats. The second reason uh, you already mentioned which is that now Jim Ward can run for his uh, seat in the state house. He's been very active as the house minority leader. He can stay in that position and then still talk about all the issues he's been talking about while campaigning for governor. Now, Bob, what impact does this have on the race? Well, this has a really big impact on the Democratic primary race. And remember, Democrats don't usually have a competitive primary. There are still three candidates left. And this clears the field, makes it, I should say, it clarifies the field because Jim Ward is from the legislature, spent a lot of time there. So has Laura Kelly. Uh, Kelly and Ward can be seen more as the legislative sort of establishment candidates. We also have Carl Brewer, who's, who's a former mayor of Wichita, a big city mayor. And then, of course, uh, Josh Swati, sort of the young outsider candidate. So it really puts those three remaining candidates sort of in separate lanes, whereas Kelly and Ward operated in somewhat of the same space. The other thing is that now Laura Kelly may not be roughed up as much in this primary because Ward was indicating that he might go after her a little bit, go negative on the gun issue. Maybe some TV ads would have been run now. Kelly doesn't have to worry about Jim Ward coming after her for the rest of the primary. Of course, it's going to be a tough campaign with the uh independent in the race, Greg Orman, and yeah. a competitive Republican side as well. KSNT News will be hosting a live nonpartisan governor forum on July 26th. Four of the eight candidates, Democrats Laura Kelly, Josh Swati, and Carl Brewer, and Republican Jim Barnett have accepted. Republicans Governor Jeff Collier, Ken Selzer, responded by saying they will let us know. No official word from independent Greg Orman or Secretary of State Chris Kobach. Bob, do you expect them to show up? Well, you know, when uh, unprecedented, nonpartisan uh, event, uh, primetime television in July before the primary, I certainly hope they'll all show up. But when you look at somebody, especially like Greg Orman, the independent, I think a lot of voters would want him to show up and talk about uh, state issues because he ran for the U.S. Senate before. So I think a lot of people are hopeful, especially that not only all the candidates show up, but especially Orman, who people are very curious about. Oh, absolutely. Thank yeah. you, Bob. Sure.